We just published the Annals of Oncology, an analysis of the Cantu cohort that looks at the impact in the quality of life of breast cancer survivors from chemotherapy and hormonal therapy. In this study, we showed that two years after diagnosis, hormonal therapy has an important negative impact in the quality of life of our patients, while chemotherapy has a more transitory impact. This is particularly true among patients after uh, menopause. Among premenopausal women, it seems that chemotherapy continues to have an important impact two years after diagnosis, particularly in certain domains, as for example, cognitive function. This study was performed in the Cantu cohort. That is a cohort that already enrolled over 12,000 patients and that is proposally done to describe toxicities of breast cancer treatment and also to be able to predict the toxicities of breast cancer treatment. But this was a sub-study performed in over 4,000 patients that was specifically designed to look at the differential impact of the different types of therapy, showing that hormonal therapy can impact the quality of life of our breast cancer survivors. We raise awareness for the need of identifying the patients that will be more likely to have side effects of this treatment. And particularly, raise awareness that is important to help patients in the management of these side effects. Hormonal therapy is by far one of the most successful histories in terms of efficacy. It reduces the breast cancer relapse for, by over 50%. In an era where we are trying to escalate hormonal therapy, it's important to clearly identify the patients that are in need of this escalation and to help the patients to live with good quality of life while doing hormonal therapy.